I am going to start with my face and I'm going to prime it with both of the Makeup Forever Step 1 primers, the hydrating one and the smoothing one. And I'm basically just going to put the smoothing one all over like my large pores and where I broke out. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation and I'm going to douse my face with that. Just apply everywhere. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Real Techniques Contour Brush from the Core Collection until everything's like blended out perfectly and I look like a pasty ghost. Then with the Miracle Complexion Sponge, also by Real Techniques, I'm going to just get the excess product out and then I'm going to put concealer on everywhere where I need it and I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. I'm also going to prime my eyelids with that and make sure I have no creases, blend everything out with my finger. Bleh. And then I'm going to go with a sponge to take like the excess product off. And then with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer, that thing, I'm just going to link it in the description box down below. And I'm just going to highlight a tiny bit my under eyes and everywhere where I need it. And then immediately after that, I'm going to set it with the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. That one. The one that I always use. And I'm going to set under my eyes, on my lids, next, next to, no, on my nose, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. Then using the Real Colors Stay Smooth Finishing Powder or something like that and on Echo Tools Kabuki Brush I'm going to set my face and then using the Butter Bronzer I'm going to bronze my face. I'm putting quite a bit of bronzer on and also under my chin. And then with the same bronzer I'm just going to contour my nose a tiny bit and using the Real Techniques Setting Brush just buff everything out so it looks nice and soft. And then with the MAC Peaches Blush and an Artiste Highlighter Brush, I think it's number 53, I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on and then blend it out and then so it's not so intense I'm going to use the same kabuki brush I used before to set my face and then for a highlight I'm going to use the shimmering skin perfector in the shade opal and just highlight my cheekbones cheekbones my cheekbones and also a little bit on my nose a little on my forehead and on my chin my chinny chin chin So yeah, just a tiny bit, not too much. And then with the setting brush, I'm just going to buff the outer parts of the highlighter so it looks like nice. And then with the All Nighter Setting Spray, I'm going to set my face, then apply a little bit more highlight on, and then do my brows. Now for my brows, I'm going to use the Mats 2 Chi Chi Palette, the Chi Chi Mats 2 Palette. And then I'm going to fill in my brows with that like warm toned brown. My brows do not match my hair perfectly. I do have to go get them done. Excuse that, but we'll just ignore it for now and just think that they match. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just cleaning them up right now a little tiny bit. I don't want them too filled in like, like a stencil or something like that. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to set it with the ABH Clear Brow Gel so they do not move. And then I'm going to go into my eyes and I'm using the BH Cosmetics 120 Color Edition Palette thingy. And I'm going to use that peachy brown, peachy brown, no, peachy shade on my crease as a transition color. And then the peach shade, that the, it's darker than the other one. I'm not pointing to the other, like, baby puke color. Oh, I used that one. And then with that, like, brownie color, I'm going to use my Smashbox blending brush and I'm just applying it under both of those colors. I'm also going to grab a tiny little shader brush and just smudge out my lower lash line. And then with that dark one and an angled brush, the one that I use for my brows, I'm just going to put it right under my lash line and then right at the outer corner. Then blend everything together. This is really easy. Just grab a bunch of colors and then pack it on your eye. <laughs> then, as you can see, I'm using my Clean Color Color Playlist palette. It broke. Oh my god. So sad. But yeah, I'm going to use that broken shade and wet my brush with my custom Glycerin Rose Water Mix and then just apply it on my lid, basically everywhere. <laughs> and then buff it out with my Smashbox brush. Then I used a really like goldy highlight. You could use the same highlighter as you used on your face. I used a tiny, tiny bit. But yeah, I just used that to lighten up my inner corner a little. And then I brushed off the excess powder, well the fallout, and then curled my lashes and then went on straight to mascara. Now today I'm not using lashes, so I am going to apply, be applying a few coats of mascara and I'm choosing waterproof because I'm not using any lashes and I want them to stay up and yeah. It's the Too Faced Better, Better Than Sex mascara, the waterproof one. Now I'm just going to separate my lower lashes because they got a bit clumpy with that mascara. And then since I did make a mess of the mascara, I just grabbed a cotton bud and cleaned it up. Then for lips, I used uh, the Maybelline Lip Liner in the shade 25 Toast and just lip, lip lined. Wow. 
just lined my lips and yeah I overdrew a tiny little bit on the bottom and then going on to the rest of the lip I'm using the NYX lip lingerie in the shade 07 satin ribbon I believe I'm just going to link everything down below in case I got it wrong and then um, that's basically it I just apply this and you could definitely leave your lip matte but I wanted glossy so I grabbed a little a little well no I grabbed a lot of gloss and it was really nude it's the essence I think it's XS, uh, XXL shine or something like that but yeah basically that is it that is all I did that is actually what I throw on every other day and yeah I hope you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video bye Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video and it's quite different from my channel. I thought I'd do something fun and different and I want you guys to get to know me better and I want to know you guys better, the ones that watch my videos and I don't know, I thought I'd do a quick little video, well I try to make it quick, <laughs> a little video of you guys getting to know me better and one thing is like the first thing I have is 